Welcome back, everybody. We're continuing on, moving right along with this Game of Thrones train we're on. So we're on episode seven of season six tonight. So, last episode, Jamie and Uncle Benji, Benjamin is back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Jamie, what? <laughs> Jamie and Olena and the Tyrells were going to go get Marjorie back, but old Tom and struck up a deal with the, the Sparrow guy. So now Jamie's been sent to go get River Run back for old Walter Frey. <laughs> and we didn't see John or Sansa last episode, I don't think. Daenerys is back on her big old dragon. And Arya and, did not do her yeah, Arya mission didn't, of an assassin, assassination. Didn't of kill the actress. So. Spring. Now, how does I can remember her name? I can't remember me. Sansa's name. Sansa. I'm going to call her Sensei all the time. And so hmm. the other girl is. Looking to kill her. Mm-hmm. And Tyrion made a deal with the, the masters from the other three cities. We'll see how that goes. Probably not good because you can't trust them people. Like Grey Worm and Miss Tende said. But other than that, I think that's all the last episode, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, well, let's watch the recap. We'll, we'll fill us in. Oh, yeah. Theon, Euron was voted king of the Iron Islands. Yeah. So Theon and Yara stole all the boats. And I don't know where they're going, but he wants to go meet up with Daenerys and offer his thousand, a thousand boats and they don't have. his big manhood that he probably don't have. Mm. And we'll see how that works out for everybody involved. But yeah, let's watch this recap and get, get on into episode seven. This one's called The Broken Man. When you attack the faith, you attack the crown. Anyone who attacks the crown is unfit to serve as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. You have served faithfully for many years, and you will continue to do so, but not in this city. <laughs> I'm being sent to deal with the Blackfish. Oh, yeah, Sansa sending Brienne down to see him, too. Try to get more men for John. Hmm. We gather today to choose a new king as our leader. <coughs> hmm. They stole our best ships. Won't be enough to save them. Who? A actress calls herself Lady Crane. God has been given a second chance. There will not be a third. Careful of that one. <laughs> Shame. The girl had many gifts. Don't let her suffer. We can't defend the north from the walkers and the south from the Boltons. If we want to survive, we need Winterfell. And to take Winterfell, we need more men. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we're going to do. That's it. I just went straight on in. They didn't do the intro. Yeah, they didn't do the intro. I got the cold open this time. Was this the boat? <laughs> no. Not a boat. I'm kind of building. Seem like they're happy. Hey, look, it's a guy from uh, John Wick. <laughs> Winston. Oh. You know, the bar guy? Yeah. The hotel guy? Oh, yeah. I need your love. Come on. Come on. Get him move. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I liked him on Deadwood. That was a good show.
Why he carrying it all by himself? What? I guess he didn't die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he could have intro. <laughs> huh? Oh, he could have intro? Yeah. Wow. He not dead? <laughs> he survived somehow. In all my days, I've never seen a man swing an axe like that. How many men did it take to cut you down? Just one. <laughs> oh. He must have been some kind of monster. He was a woman. <laughs> a big woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look like they're doing good. Yeah. He had the seven-pointed star on the necklace. And it's that sparrow religion. Right. What's well, just a religion in the Westeros? I think some of the men are a bit afraid of you. I'm used to <laughs> it. When I found you, I thought you'd been dead for days. Well, he was stinking already, and he had bugs all over here, and bone was coming through right there. <laughs> I was going to give you a proper burial, and then you cough. <laughs> <laughs> Time I loaded you on the wagon, but you didn't. Now, I reckon you'd die a dozen more times over the next few days, but you didn't. What kept you going? <laughs> hey. Huh? That'll keep people going. There's a reason you're still here. No, there's a reason I'm a big fucker and I'm tough to kill. No a reason. Gods aren't done with you yet. I've heard that before. What matters, I believe, is that there's something greater than us. And whatever it is, yeah. it's got plans for Sandor Clegane. Yeah? You didn't know me back in my time. You don't know the things I've done. I've heard stories. <laughs> if the gods are real, why haven't they punished me? She got a purpose. They have. <laughs> so they sleep out there on the what's farm out there or no? No. What are we reading today? The Book of the Mother, Your Holiness. Why is she still there? Why is she in it? Yeah, there are some who know every verse of the sacred text, but don't have a drop of the Mother's mercy in their blood. And savages mm. who can't read at all, who understand the Father's wisdom. For years, I pretended to love the poor, the afflicted. I had pity for them, but... I never loved them. Hmm. Really, girl? The poor disgust us because they are us. I don't think she's just telling them what he wants to hear. I hope so. But she is a manipulative. Yeah, she knows how to play the game. The king mentioned that since your reunion, you haven't joined him in the marriage bed. No. You have a duty, Your Grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she almost said for no weakling. <laughs> for real. It's just the desires that once drove me no longer do. Congress does not require desire on the woman's part. The king must have an heir if we are to continue our good work. But you've made great progress. I only pray your grandmother follows your lead. Oh, 
Don't tell me he got the girl. Queen of Thorns is a remarkable woman, a strong woman, and an unrepentant sinner. You must teach her the new way. Does it move or talk? I want to speak with you alone. Sapta Unella has been my true friend and counselor. Hmm. Look at her. You're not in your sanctuary now, my dear. All I have to do is whistle and my men will stroll in here and bash you Grandma. about until I tell them to stop. <laughs> what have they done to you? You marched against the High Sparrow, against the faith. We marched for you. The gods could have punished you and father, but they didn't. They showed mercy. <laughs> you will leave for High Garden today. There is no law that says you must stay here. I am the queen. Look at her. Don't you want that? I want to slap her. No, yeah. But you should leave, Grandmother. Your place is at home. I will never leave you. Never. You must. Go home. Look at her. I'll see you soon, my dear. So you better get out before they get you. Look at her, looking at her. Shall we pray? Hmm. <laughs> We're strong. We fight with you, King Crow, when the time comes, and we meant it. But this isn't what we agreed to. If it weren't for him, none of us would be here. The Boltons, the Karstarks, the Umbers, they know you're here. After they finish with me, they'll come for you. Hmm. Are you right? Yeah. This isn't your fight. You shouldn't have to come to Winterfell with me. I shouldn't be asking you. It's not the deal we made. I need you with me if we're going to beat them. And we need to beat them if you're going to survive. The crows killed him. Because he spoke for the free folk. He died for us. Hmm. If we are not willing to do the same for him, we're cowards. Well. If that's what we are, we deserve to be the last of the free folk. It looks like they could be related. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. No. He's like, I'm with you. What that mean? He's like, I'm with you. Oh. Hmm. That's good. Right? Yeah. Now yeah, I need a couple more thousand people. Hmm. Be sure they'll come. You're not clever like your southerners. We say we'll we do, do it. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> I heard you were leaving King's Landing. That is hardly your concern. <clears throat> your grandson is still a prisoner. You'll leave him rotting in a cell. Loras rots in a cell because of you. The High Sparrow rules this city because <clears throat> of you. Our two ancient houses face collapse because of you. <clears throat> Telling the truth. Oh, I'm right. I made a terrible mistake. I carry it with me every single day. Yeah, right. <laughs> I delivered an army of fanatics onto our doorstep. And now we must fight. Ah, no. <laughs> I wonder if you're the worst person I've ever met. Do you remember the way you smirked at me when my grandson and granddaughter were dragged off to their cells? <laughs> I do. <laughs> she did smirk. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving this wretched city as fast as I can before that shoeless zealot throws me into one of his cells. I'll never leave my son. You have no support? Not anymore. Your brother's gone. The High Sparrow, sort of that. Mm -hmm. The rest of your family have abandoned you. The people despise you. You're surrounded by enemies, thousands of them. You're going to kill them all by yourself? Mm -hmm. You've lost Cersei. It's the only joy I can find in all this misery. 
She always loves good at putting people in their place, huh? Who? Oh, grandmother? Yeah, yeah grandma. <laughs> Say grandma. This grandmother. Oh, my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. That's a lot of people. From the Lannister army. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. That one would have loved to have seen this. Jamie leading his army. Yeah. The twats out to dig trenches. Someone certainly does. Oh, no. Not me. I'm just an upjump cell sword. You're an annoyance of nights. Nice. That's quite a difference. Aye, nice dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> things that any officer in the Lannister army. That's like saying I have a bigger cock than anyone in the unsullied <laughs> army. <laughs> you promised me a lordship and a castle and a high-born beauty for a wife. And you'll get all three. A Lannister always Don't pays say it. Don't <laughs> say it. <laughs> he heard it all every day from period. He always paid her debt. Blackfish, we have Lord Edmure. Oh, Lord, yield the castle or we'll hang him. Oh, Lord, this is your last warning. Yield the castle. No, you think I won't do it, old man? <laughs> I sliced your niece's throat from ear to ear. Where were you? No, he went here and already walked, walked out. He know what's going on. The castle. All right, cut his throat. Uh, please don't kill him. Please. Go on then. Cut his throat. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what you say. I'll call your bluff. Don't do <laughs> I'm like, please don't kill him. Lothar, is it? So, Jamie, we didn't know you were coming because you didn't set a proper perimeter. You just allowed 8,000 men to approach unchallenged. Have Lord Edmure bathed and fed. Who will? Who will do? Hmm? Edmure is a prisoner of House Frey. Only a fool makes threats he's not prepared to carry out. Well, let's say I threatened to hit you unless you shut your mouth, but you kept talking. What do you think I'd do? I don't give a mm. <laughs> I'm here by the king's command to take back this castle, have him bathed and fed. Apologies, Sir Jamie. Do as he says. <laughs> the siege is now under my command. The next time the Blackfish looks out from those ramparts, you'll see an army at its gates, not... Whatever this is, get word to the Blackfish. I want a parley. A parley or a fight? He's an old man. You've got one hand. I'm on his on the other. <laughs> <one. laughs> Lady Mormont. Welcome to Bear Island. Oh, we got a little girl now. That's yeah. in there. That's Jorah's niece. I remember when you were born, my lady. You were named for my aunt Liana. Grayscale guy. Oh, really? The Lord Commander's beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother Rob. <laughs> I served under your uncle at Castle Black, Lady Liana. He was also a great mm. warrior and an honorable man. I was his steward, in fact. I, I think we've had enough small talk. <laughs> Stannis Baratheon garrisoned at Castle Black before he marched on Winterfell and was killed. He showed me the letter he wrote to him when he petitioned for men. It said. I remember what it said. Bear Island knows no king but the king of the north, whose name is Stark. Rob is gone, but House Stark is not. And it needs your support now more than ever. Aren't you? As far as I understand, you're a snow, and Lady Sandra is a Bolton. Who's she, Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. 
I did what I had to do to survive, my lady. But I am a Stark. I will always be a Stark. If you say so. In <laughs> any case, you don't just want my allegiance. You want my fighting men. Ramsay Bolton cannot be allowed to keep Winterfell, my lady. It is our duty to <laughs> stop him. Even more so because he holds our brother Rickon Stark as prisoner. What you have to understand, my lady, is that... I understand that I'm responsible for Bear Island and all who live here. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's mm. war? She's a very... She's a little she vicious wisdom. girl. No, she has wisdom. <laughs> if it please, my lady. I understand how you feel. All right, sir, Davos of House Seaworth. How is it you understand how I feel? <laughs> you never thought you'd find yourself in your position. Being responsible for so many lives at such a young age. I never thought I'd be in my position. I was a crabber's son, then I was a smuggler. And now I find myself addressing the lady of a great house in time of war. But I'm here because this isn't someone else's war. It's our war. Go on, Sir Davos. <laughs> Your uncle, Lord Commander Mormont, made that man his steward. He chose John to be his successor because he knew he had the courage to do what was right. You sure do know how to talk a story. Well, That's he, like Tyrion. He'd be a good car salesman, you know that? <laughs> a used car salesman. Yeah. And the dead. And make no mistake, my lady. The dead are coming. Hmm. Is this true? Your uncle fought them at the Fist of the First Men. I fought them at hard home. We both lost. As long as the Boltons hold Winterfell, the North is divided. And a divided North won't stand a chance against the Night King. You want to protect your people, my lady, I understand. But there's no hiding from this. We have to fight. And we need to do it together. Thank you. Because you get on my nerves. We know those masers, they always want to throw their two cents in. How small Mont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. Thank you, my lady. How many fighting men can we expect? Hmm. Sixty-two. Just sixty-two, me? Hey, hey. Take what you can get. Not a large house, but we're a proud one. And every man from Bear Island fights with the strength of ten mainlanders. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. 62? Hey, if they're anything like her, they'll take out 10, 15 a piece. They good. <laughs> they bet me. Yeah, I like her. She's like well, one of my favorite characters. Really? Yeah, because just the way she is. Are they going to lay down the bridge? I mean, a door or something? Your drawbridge. Black man back there? Look, <laughs> is that a black man back there? Kingslayer. Blackfish. I assume you're here to fulfill the vow you gave my niece. I don't see Sansa and Aya. I don't have them. Do you wish to resume your captivity? Then why are you here? You know why I'm here. This castle belongs to House Frey. You're trespassing. In the name of King Tommen, I order you to surrender. Or, or you'll kill Edmure. You'll force me to storm the castle. Hundreds will die. Hundreds of mine. Thousands of yours. Dude, you should not be standing out there. He gonna get killed. But if you surrender, I'll spare the lives of your men. They did a parlay. Fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. Parlay. This is my home. I was born in this castle, and I'm ready to die in it. So you can either attack or try to starve us out. We have enough provisions for two years. Do you have two years, King Slayer? You clearly have no intention of saving your men's lives. Why did you come treat with me? See, these are dull. And I wanted to see you in person, get the measure of you. Mm. 
Well, now you have. I now I have. I'm disappointed. <laughs> the answer is no. Lord Glover, if you could just hear us I've out. Heard enough. We've only just taken back this castle from the Ironborn. The Boltons helped us do it. Now you want me to fight against yeah. them? Yeah. You're asking me to join your army. Who is fighting in this army? Everybody. The Wildlings. The bulk of the force is made up of Wildlings. <sighs> and the rumors are true. I received you out of respect for your father. Now I would like you to leave. House Glover will not abandon its ancestral home to fight alongside wildlings. Lord Glover, I... have nothing else to say. I would remind you that House Glover is pledged to House Stark. Sworn to answer when called upon. Hmm. Yes, my family served House Stark for centuries. When my brother was lord of this castle, he answered Rob's call and hailed him king in the north. And where was King Rob when the Ironborn attacked this castle? Taken up with a foreign whore, getting himself and those who followed him mm. killed. Wow. He said, my dad opened me up. That's what he said. Just now. <laughs> I need to let Davos do all the talking. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one that can convince people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all they like going to, the brothels, huh? Everybody. I guess. You say, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Even the sister. Why do we have to come here? Some of us still like it. Have a drink at least. I don't want one. Hmm. Nothing on the Iron Islands has an ass like that. Doesn't interest you anymore. Hmm. I'm sorry. I won't joke about it. I'll never hurt you, little brother. You don't know that. You think Uncle Euron's hunting for us? Of course he is. As long as we're alive, we're a threat. Drink. I don't want any. I don't care what you want. Drink. You're ironborn, Theon. I know you've had some bad years. Bad years. <laughs> <laughs> my bad years. I've been tortured. Been terrorized. Terrorized. Castrated. I need you. The real Theon Greyjoy, not this ratchet. Is Reek? Can you find him for me? Drink. Get him drunk. <laughs> if you're so broken that there's no coming back, take a knife and cut your wrists. Oh, he's the broken. Boy, or man. Is it broken, man? Dang, Theon. I could need be. you. Could be. You know, he's broken. It could have been a uh, saddle. Who was that? The hound. Oh, he ain't broken. He good. He broken. Are you really with me? He broken in the head. And in the. Well. <laughs> Yeah, he really broke it. You can do, do a lot of things without that second part. Look at Varys. Went to Paris. Varys. The ball guy. Uh-huh. He's done his camp here on his way to Winterfell. Uh-oh. And that's a good thing. He was the most experienced commander in Westeros. He chose this place for a reason. Mm. Those mountains are a natural fortification. There's a stream down there for the horses. You're not staying here long. Another storm hit it any day. All right. The snows defeated Stannis as much as the Boltons did. Where the weird woman at? She should be with them. 2,000 wildlings, 200 hornwoods, 143 masons. 62 Mormons. It's not what we hoped <laughs> for, but we still have a chance. If we're careful and smart. I'm very optimistic. Look at that ugly oh, for fuck's sake. So he's your most trusted advisor now? Because he secured 62 men from a... <laughs> so Davos is the reason I'm standing here talking to you and you served Stannis for years. It's not enough. We need more men. There's no time. If we went down to Castle Kerwin, I know that Lord Kerwin... We is... fight with the army we have. Mm -mm. Friends, this is not worth fighting over. Mm. You're not fucking you. Hold on. Yeah. Mm.
Sansa. I think I got a name right. Sansa. Yeah. You think she's writing? Mm-hmm. Daenerys? No. Who? Who do you think? Ramsey? Baelish. Really? Burn that village? Fine. I'm your arsonist. Steal that farmer's crops. Good. I'm your thief. Kill those young lads so they won't take up arms against us. I'm your murderer. Mm. I cut that young boy's throat myself. As his mother screamed. I'll hear her screaming the rest of my life. I know I can never bring that lad back. All I can do with time I've got left is bring a little goodness into the world. Never too late to stop robbing people, to stop killing people, start helping people. It's never too late to come back. Oh, Lord. Hope they keep on riding. <laughs> Seven save you, friends. How can we help you? What are you doing here? Well, we're talking about life. You? Protecting the people. Oh, we thank you for your protection. <laughs> Do you have any horses? No horses. No gold. No steel. Food then. Protecting the people is hungry work. <laughs> You're welcome to stay for supper. But we have hungry mouths here. <laughs> stay safe. The night is dark and full of terrors. They're going to come back, aren't they? They're going to try to kill them. He's gonna hit him like seven savior friends. I'm a fucking septum. What was I supposed to say? They don't believe in your seven. They're from the Brotherhood. Anyway, we got nothing for them. Sure you do. You've got food, you've got steel, even if you say you don't. And you've got women. What do you want to do? Kill them? It'll be you against all of them. I mean, these people don't know how to fight. Violence is a disease. You don't cure a disease by spreading it to more people. <laughs> You don't cure it by dying either. You've done enough work for one day. Come on up for some supper. It's going to be a cold night. We'll need firewood. I'll save you a bowl of stew. Might even have some ale in the way. <laughs> He's not a lying man. He says the Iron Fleet's in Slaver's Bay. You're Westerosi. What do you care? I want to book passage home. Can't afford it. I'm leaving two days. You can have a hammock in steerage. I want a cabin. And we'll leave at dawn. See you at sunrise. <laughs> girl, don't ever turn your back. Look, look. I bet she did, girl. Sweet girl. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the freak? told you that was her. <laughs> you can't, like, you can't be <laughs> safe around anybody with them. They can be anybody. Yeah. I want her dead. I'm sorry. I want her dead. Girl, you let your guard down, are you? Oh, she let her guard down, baby. Or you better not die. I mean, I promise you. <laughs> this TV series, it's love hate relationship. You hear me? Oh, I know. <laughs> I want that blood hair girl dead. Mm -mm. I just heard somebody screaming. I think you did too. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. That quickly? That's about some more men back when those three. Hey, huh, Kim? 
Oh my god. That's jacked up. Yeah. Well, he didn't stay on the show that long. No, that's a good cameo. Go get him. Go get him, Hound. Go and they get him. Have, and they might have pissed off the wrong person. Oh my god. Now, all that time, you only heard one scream. But everybody, go, you go back to the camp, everybody did. Seemed like he was probably a good ways away. Cutting wood. <laughs> That's crazy. Then, okay. Who knows? Like, I could have just... See, I t- Arya let her guard down. She let her guard down. And that girl said, sweet girl. That's a clue. Oh, yeah. Because, isn't it what the witch cop say? Sweet. Something, don't he? I don't know. I don't know if he does or not. She let her name. I mean, she let her guard down. Yeah. With her letting her guard down, that girl and stab her. Now, I hope she don't die. Because that'd be kind of jacked up. I'm telling you, this is a love-hate relationship that's going <laughs> on right here. Love-hate. And then, uh, Cersei with Grandmother. Grandmother put her, grandma, uh, grandmother always put her in her place. Yeah. And stuff. But she told her to leave. But that nun, she had, a feel, yeah, she had a feeling she did something because she's like, just leave. Go, grandmother. Go. Yeah. Well, I hope she's able to get out before they try to capture her and make, make her sin trial or repent. What they call it. Well, we did learn that Marjorie's just just playing the game. Yeah, well, she's very manipulative. Yep. So she is at the what's call them. She's she is back in the castle. With the king, yeah. But she just chooses to be there, I guess, to be close to her brother. Yeah. To she's still, him all the time. She's still doing what she needs to do to try to save Loris. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, because you know he's still locked. Lord's just need to atone for his sins. And then, so John and Sansa got got a couple hundred more people besides the wildlings. Yeah, but not that many. Sixty two. And I like the fact that new the new character, the young lady, the ten year old. She like Uh-oh. she's she don't take no crap she, off. She nobody. bold. Yeah, she bold. Uh, I like that. I. I they need more and just like uh sensei. Sansa. 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 See? <laughs> Sansa. But you can to, remember Lady Crane that's been on the Lady show Crane. for one episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was on there for two episodes, but I can remember oh, Lady yeah. Crane. But Sansa, now she's going to send out a note to Lord. Ba- I want to try, why you trust some Baelish? And where's Brienne in? She she sent Brienne to go down to talk to the Blackfish, so she's probably on the way there still. Yeah, well, she ain't going to be able to get through because the Lannisters are right there. You know? And don't look like they got too many men either. No, they don't. They don't have a couple hundred probably in that castle. So, but... And then, of course, Jamie's got his 8,000. Yeah, but why do you... For something that small, why would you need that many people? You could have took... 2000 down there. Show it for us. No. Maybe they're hard and they see all them people that'll give up. And them phrase signs. Oh, yeah, them idiots. <laughs> no, I mean, you and I already went through it with, oh, so y'all like chicken crap because y'all went through it with Rahab stabbing a woman in her belly, mm-hmm. cutting a uh, Rob's mother's throat. But when the opportunity come, y'all sitting right there, right in front, probably look like a hundred feet. Yeah. From the castle, and threaten. And then you threaten to hang him and cut his throat, and then yeah, not do it. Well, what y'all gonna do? Uh, ain't gonna do that. And I would have thought Blackfish would have, uh, cause he's good with the arrow. Remember that when their dad his yeah, brother died. Yeah, really good with the arrows. Uh, yeah, good with the arrow. He throw the arrow. He, I would have thought he would have shot his brother to keep him from being suffering. Or oh, his nephew. Or his nephew from suffering. So that's Lady Catelyn's sister. Catelyn's brother. From yeah. her brother, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm saying the one that couldn't shoot the arrow. Yeah. But kept missing. <laughs> he was like, go ahead and kill him. But that's interesting. I mean, I just don't believe, you know, Arya. I can't believe she, Arya, gonna, you know. Yes. She let her. She let her guard down. She thought she could just get away. Yeah. And not having consequences. But you know that you, they got all many faces, so you don't know yeah. who it could be, and you just let your guard down like, like that. She could, it could have been, like, she could have been walking down that street bleeding, and they could have got her again she yeah. wouldn't have known. That's yeah. why she's looking all scared. You know what? Well, guess we're going to have to see what's going to happen next, huh? You got three more episodes of this season. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, give us, give us a thumbs up and leave your comments. Until next time. Bye-bye.